Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews. And on this episode, we're going to be looking at the fifth in this Paradox series, the Paradox V. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I'm the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And as we said, we're looking at the fifth release in the Paradox line, the Paradox V. And I guess that's a Roman numeral for 5-2. Yeah. Ooh. Um, so yes, this is the fifth one. As you guys remember, we actually reviewed the very first one yes, a first one. very long time ago. So, um, what is different between the first one to this one, Scoops? Because I, I know the core is pretty similar. Yeah. It's got the I 2.0 dual density core. Okay. It, which is an asymmetric, low RG, high differential, medium intermediate differential. Okay. <clears throat> now, this one also has the per prime pearl cover stock on it. Okay. Which is the strongest pearl cover stock to date on a Paradox ball. Might not be the strongest one they've made. But it's, it's the, the strongest, strongest one they put on this line. Okay. Now, it's a little bit longer than the Alias. Okay. And it's got a super strong back end. Um, which, for us, the way we had it drilled, seemed to be a little bit over under with the out-of-box surface. Yeah. So, um, we tend to do all of our videos with the out-of-box surface, and yeah. then we encourage you guys to change surface. Um, sometimes... Especially with our lane service, because it is high friction, we see a little bit more over under from polished equipment. Yeah. And this was the case with this one. We ended up for you and for old guy Wayne, we used a used 4000 pad just to take a little bit of the polish off. Yeah. Uh, and that got it before you guys threw it. Yeah. Just to make sure it was into a little stronger roll. Yeah. Um, and then for Cam, you'll actually see in the last video, we hit it with a 2000 pad. Yeah just to get to pick up and be a, a, a little bit yeah. better for him. Not that we didn't like the cover stock. No, no, it's not the cover stock itself. It's just like we've said, uh, the way it was drilled and our lane surfaces at what it was, it just wasn't matching up. It just wasn't matching yeah. up. So we're letting you guys know in advance, we did a surface change. Yes. And uh, speaking of that, rather than listening to us talk about the ball, why don't we head lane side and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, here is Wayne Porter, our speed dominant player. Yeah, he's bowling on the five house shot. Now, I talked a little bit about changing the surface out of box. Yeah. Um, when we were warming up to shoot these videos, yeah. um, what I was seeing for your guys' style, mm -hmm. from my knowledge of the center, yes, um, I was seeing a little bit of over-under. Yeah. And that's why we chose to hit it with the used 4000 pad, just to make sure it was a nice, even surface. Yeah, it just took a little bit of polish off, so it's, it got a little bit of a roll. Not like, you know, 500 or... Yeah, or yeah, 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 It's yeah. not rolling off our hand. And we, but, we yeah. I, I always say a used 4000 pad because that means it has very, very little grit to it. It's literally yeah. just taking off any kind of surface polish. Exactly. Now, you can see that uh, Wayne here is in a little bit. He's around... Um, I think he's only getting it out to about 12. Yeah. Um, keeping it a little more in the oil. This is a s fairly strong yeah. ball. Like if you get it, out, like you got that one out, you can see it roll up and see how high flush that was. Yeah. And just boom. And you can just like, whatever. And you can, I mean, you know what? The, the colors yeah. allow you to really read where it's rolling yeah. up. You can see it really good in this one. You see that orange get right over to yeah, that goes, one whoop. side. Yeah. <laughs> right to left. Yeah. Now, here we have you coming in with it right now. Yeah. Um, what did you think of the ball? Um, it was strong. Very strong and very forgiving. Like, that was a little bit more outside. And yep. That's usually washout land for yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. Um, we have a lot of hold outside fives. So yeah. You here see, you are. Moved it in a little, a little bit, bit more. Yeah. And stayed in the oil and then bang. 
it actually looked like it performed better when you stayed in a little bit more in the oil. Yeah. Well, it's not it's not reading as early, right? Mm-hmm. Like we talked about. It's you can see it just just roll up nice there. See a lot of good kick off it. Um, you got to remember, you get outside the pattern where the friction is, it's going to start everything a little bit sooner, right? You're moving your phases closer to you. Yep. And uh, this one doesn't need that. This reminded me, even though it's a pearl, more of um, I know they say it's a very strong pearl. And it would yeah. be more of a top end. Yeah. This looked more benchmarky to me. Yeah. When you guys were throwing it. You can just see it could fit in there as that first ball of your bag to help you read the lanes. And that's partly because of the ball itself and the colors like yep. like you said like you can see where it's going to move so you're like here okay, you are a little close a little closer checking yeah. this one out you'll be able to see that break point as it tips down boom yep and the carry i mean this is a phenomenal core this is like one of their go tracks go to cores it's very simple and easy to read so now here is cam now we we just jumped right down to 2000 um yeah. with cam's side rotation uh, polish does not match up with him a lot. Uh, yeah. It causes a great deal of over under. So we wow. knew. Oh, <laughs> wow, we knew we were going to have to take some surface off. Probably, you can see there. We probably could have gone to three thousand. Yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe two thousand a little too much. But I mean, he's really ripping it now. He's in the oil a little bit more there, and you can see the difference. It's still just such a strong ball from coming off his hand. You can see a bit yeah. more continuation from his style yeah. through the pins. You guys were getting a little bit of deflection, and that's probably too with the polish. Yeah, but I mean, that's the other thing is like he's got so much side rotation, like you said. Yep, he just cleans it out, like gets down the lane, nice and clean already, and then and then turns. Yeah, friction. Hello, here comes boom. And I mean, that's why more modern um, hybrids mm. and, and pearlized balls are. In Cameron's wheelhouse now compared yeah. to what they used the to be, The old school right? ones. Yeah. And you can see how it migrates and then boom, oh, straight that was through. perfect. Doesn't look like a paradox to me. No. I think he knows what he needs. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.